I'm at the airport. They're playing jazz. I love it already. I'm currently out on the streets of Napoli, Italy. Thinking of getting myself like a pizza or something. I just gotta say, I really like the fact that when I walk, you both in the building. This is gonna be me in New York. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm kind of like lost, but I also see a pizzeria. Mmm, pizza does sound good right now. <gasps> oh, my lord. Wow. This is beautiful. I just got my pizza. I'm about to try it out. I put my hair into a ponytail so I kind of look like I um gonna try this pizza out. It's not pre-cut. There we go. Who needs the gym when you have Italian stairs? Maradona. I did it. Look at this beautiful city. Imagine just vibing out on this terrace. So right now we are in the Georgia restaurant. We have just received our first bread. This is the first time I've never received bread with bread sticks and some butter. I'm very curious to see what's in stock. I see what awaits us. Which is a little bit. I got a special birthday wish. It's a little cake. <laughs> I've decided to go for a run. It's the first day. It was more. It was raining in the morning, but now that's better. I've got funk in my ears. <laughs> my morning run in Naples. So currently, I'm having some French, not French toast, I'm having a poached egg. And this mozzarella is the freshest mozzarella I've had in my whole entire life. I kid you not, it's amazing. I have a nice little view. I'm the owner of the hotel. I just came by to say hi and give me some guides on like if I should find some people or like who I should ask for a guide to tour me around and that's like super sweet like what the heck how many hotels do you know that the actual owner comes up to you like oh. okay so I just got back to the hotel room now I'm going to be heading to the historical center Hercules, we are in at the cusp of the historical part of Naples on my right we have the precious fish that is Wouldn't be an Italian visit if I didn't get some ice cream. My sister's ice cream from the famous Napolitan ice cream shop called Gay Odin. It's been in Napoli since 1894. Right over there. And I got myself a ghiana and a pistachio. Molto buono. <laughs> so currently we are at Colmillo, which is the famous uh, fried pizza spot. So they take pizza dough. They put it into like a little pocket, like a calzone, but they deep fry it and they will make it Okay, which I'll be showing in the video later. We're about to try it. This is a frittata. It's huge, it's warm, it's a fried dough pizza, and I'm about to try it out. It's m most of them have some sorts of something to do with Maradona and, and something to do with chili peppers. I don't know why though. We're at the Duomo di Napoli, the oldest and most important church of the Napolitan people. One of the reasons for this is that they have the blood of the founder of Napoli there. And apparently there was a miracle where two times uh, it either became liquid or solid. So 
All right, so my friend got sick, so it's me alone again. And now I'm thinking of checking out some tapas or something or getting some shoes. I really want to get some clothes. At least it's sunny, but I feel honestly really odd right now. Like, for some reason, I feel very um, disoriented and like confused. <laughs> Because I don't know if I want to go to the museum or or to the crypts. Actually, I kind of want to go to the crypts, but there's a tour, a guided tour at 1550. So I'm not sure if, uh, like, how I'm gonna manage that time-wise. But I'm just very confused, honestly. Like, I, I just, I just don't know. It's kind of unexplainable how pretty the streets are. Also, I'm on the hunt to find some shoes now. All right, success. I got some shoes from a store called Kakao over there. I think ka ka Kakase. Okay. <laughs> and they're really cute. They're like these little boots that I can wear around. And accent, they didn't have the size in black, so I got them in brown and honestly the brown is nicer. So I'm very happy. It's the next morning and I'm today going horse riding in Pompeii, which is freaking crazy. Like, like who does that? Me. Me. Right now I'm going to breakfast though. Right now we are at Saudi Pompeii, aka the Pompeii Ruins. We're about to wait for Danielle, our um, guide. We just had a lovely talk with, I think, Rino, Rio, what's his name? Dino. Rino, Nino, who took Dino. us? Dino. Nino. Dino. <laughs> he, took us, he took us all the way here from our hotel. And we're about to see what Pompeii holds. Y'all, is this a lemon? We've decided to go get some lemon juice, some proper lemon, lemon juice. Currently, I'm having some juice or lemon, mm, the squeezed lemon. I'm not sure if there's sugar in this because it's really sour, but it's really tasty. Like it feels like it's naturally sweet and really, really, really sour. I like it. And it's really sunny. Wow. Right now I'm in Pompeii, inside the Basilica, which is the oldest, um, oldest public building. It's from what I understood also, there was apparently an earthquake 17 years before Pompeii even like got rubbled with all the ash from the volcano. So that's a fun fact that I didn't know. Uh, we're very lucky because it's super sunny <laughs> and I'm about to find out more. I'm in the public square center of Pompeii. So this is where you would find uh, there was a school, there was a market, there was the public forum that I just showed you a second ago, and that was called the Basilica. And right now we're about to walk through the city more, but it's, it's really crazy seeing the ruins and how easy it is to actually imagine what it looked like before. But well, one thing that most interested me so far is the thin bricks. It's very, very pretty. Unfortunately, it started to rain. I'm still checking out the ruins, but our guide is like literally the best guide ever, I swear. Dino, you gotta get Dino. The eruption in 79, so when it was at the present Mom, I just tried an amazing line. Just arrived at the horse, horse range. We took um, a car with one amazing guide as well. I didn't catch his name, but we're about to go for a horse ride. I'm currently on a horse. Beautiful. Now we're having some pizza. It's the next morning after my run. I just washed my hair. I have makeup look, so I look crazy. But I'm about to go to breakfast. Now we are about to enter the underground of Naples. You see, it says Napoli Sorrento, which means it's first. So, so the Terrania, which means the underground, obviously. And I know nothing about it, so I'm probably gonna have to explain it with visual, visual stuff in the video. Right now I'm about to try to just 
from Coco di Mare. It's fried seafood. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be good. 